guys, what's up? As you can see, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. A new series, I guess you would say. And it's going to be called My Recent Obsession. And I got the idea because there have been two shows that I am one wa oh, the one of them I'm watching and the other one I watched through the entire first season and it unfortunately got cancelled. So the first one we talk about is the one that got cancelled, unfortunately. So I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this thing and it was from Peter Fascinelli. And it said, you know, go follow the new NBC Odyssey Odyssey Twitter page for some really exciting news. And I thought, huh, you know, Peter Fascinelli might be in a new show or something like that. So I checked it out and I was like, you know, this actually keep, seems kind of interesting, you know. So I, you know, told my dad about it. I said, you know, every Monday I'm going to be watching this show at 9 o'clock. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, so the first night I sat down and started watching it and I was like, this is really freaking good. And like, I started like telling my dad about it because I sit in the living room and he sits in the kitchen. I started telling him about it and he was like, you know what, I'm going to start watching it. And so he flipped to it. And we literally, it became like a weekly thing. Like every Monday we'd go in the living room, watch American Odyssey at 9 o'clock, and it was fantastic. The only thing is, is that for some unknown reason, NBC decided that they didn't want to keep showing it anymore. And now all of the fans are ticked off. So we're trying to get it pushed to Netflix. So... If it goes to Netflix, which I hope that it goes to Netflix when we get a season two, you guys should definitely check it out. Um, I know that there's only maybe the last four episodes are on NBC's cha or NBC's website now, which kind of sucks. But um, if you guys have seen the show, please come talk to me about it. Oh my god! So basically, the show is about this woman named Odell Ballard. And she found out basically the military secret military, military secrets that um, the United States has basically been paying terrorists to cause trouble for the military to come in to stop them. And it's just basically like this big vicious cycle of, you know, we pay you to do something, we'll come in and stop you, we'll rebuild your cities, you know, help you out, yada yada, so on and so forth, and it just keeps going. And so she decides that she's going to save all this to a jump drive and tell the whole world about it. Well, um, you know, her boss finds out about it. He basically sends in a drone to kill her troops, they kill all of her friends. And um, after that, it's basically just her struggle to get from this foreign country back home to her husband and her daughter, which they think that she's dead, you know? They get the news, they, you know, send her body back, a bunch of crap happens. So, you know, it it was really, like, it made you think about our government and the way it runs and everything like that. But at the same time, it was like, it was basically set up to where it was Odell's story of her trying to get home her husband and her daughter's story of trying to figure out this news. Um, a guy by the name of Harrison and his buddies trying to get social media and things like that involved to try to figure out what's going on with Odell. As well as uh, Peter Fascinelli's character, Peter Decker. Him trying to use his connections with the um, ambassador of another country to out the United States for killing her husband and for working with terrorists and so on and so forth and it was just watching these stories merge together around Odell and them trying to get her home and trying to you know make everything right and it ended in the most ambiguous way ever where we don't know what happened to her. We don't know if she's sought now as a traitor. We don't know if she went home to her family. We don't know anything about Odell. And I'm hoping, 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 hoping that it goes to Netflix. Because if not, I'm going to be very, 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 very mad and sad and upset. Um, 
So my next obsession, I'm going to be doing two in this video because they are pretty much, you know, neck and neck right now. I absolutely love both of these. Um, is just another thing, like I said, I was flipping through TV, or fl yeah, flipping through TV, and I saw Bella Thorne on an MTV, on MTV, and I was like, she went from Shake It Up and Disney and crap like that, and now she's doing MTV, like, what the crap, you know? And I was like, it was her and this guy sitting in the car at night, and I was like, really, is she gonna, like, make up with this dude and, like, have, like, a sex scene? Like, really? Like, I understand she's a little bit older now, but, I mean, to go straight from Disney to MTV, that was kind of a, you know. But, anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'll watch it. Because she actually got out of the car with the dude. And I was like, got out of the car with the dude. She got out of the car and away from the dude, I should say that. But, um, I was like, you know, I'm pretty proud of her. Let's see where this goes. And come to find out, I was watching Scream, the TV show. And I was like, what the heck? Like, they're making Scream. Like, the serial killer Scream. Like, they're making those movie, like that, those movies into a TV show. And literally within the first five minutes of me watching that show, they had this, like, guy. In, they're all in high school, of course. And he's trying to get... You know, he's wanting to become, do something in film and things like that. And he's really interested in the previous guy that was Scream. That was killed. And he starts basically saying, like breaking the fourth wall within the first five minutes of me watching. And he's like, you know, having a horror movie portrayed into a TV show, that, that can't happen. Because you literally have the first person die and then after that it's just a bloodbath and I was like exactly so why are you making a movie into a tv show like a slasher film into a tv show and then he went on and like during the entire two, two episodes they, they've only got the first two episodes out it comes on every Tuesdays at eight or nine I want to say it's eight I'm pretty sure it's eight but it comes on every Tuesday at eight or nine on MTV and, uh, they have already been renewed for, uh, season two. So, it's, I mean, he really, I'm really only watching the show now for the film geek. Like, I'm not even kidding. He literally breaks the fourth wall so much. He's, like, you, he's walking down the hall. There's one point, he's walking down the hall and he's, like, talking to this girl that he's trying to hook up with. And he's, like, look, everything comes down to... You don't need to think about... He basically summarizes and says, you don't need to think about who done it or why did they do it. You need to think about who's going to be next. And so it's him explaining to this girl that you need to make sure that you're watching the fact that the teacher seems kind of close to his female students. And you need to make sure that you know whether or not the basketball team won their game or not. And you need to know whether the good girl is going to forgive her dumb idiot jock boyfriend and all this other stuff. And then he finally says, because once you start paying attention to that stuff, you get attached to the characters. And when they get brutally murdered, it hurts. And I was like, that's literally every book or movie I have ever read. They get you hooked right from the start. And then as soon as they die, you want to cry. Oh, I made a rhyme. But, you know, it's literally like he's trying to walk the audience through the creator's thought process of why they're turning this into a TV show instead of another Scream movie or something like that. And so I'm really only watching it for him now, but I think that it is awesome. And um, that's basically going to wrap up um, this new episode. Um, yeah, those two shows, you definitely need to keep a watch out for them. Scream is definitely going to be going somewhere and hopefully American Odyssey will get renewed for season two on Netflix and if it does then you definitely need to be watching out for it too because it is fantastic so um yeah have you guys seen American Odyssey or Scream and if you have I would love for you to come talk to me in the comments or you can come talk to me on Instagram and Twitter um if you would like and I will absolutely talk about 
either one of these shows for days on end because they are fantastic. So, um, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.